everyone, this is Jay Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve a differential equation from higher order linear differential equation with variable equations. So we are given a second order linear differential equation and we are going to solve the given equation using reduction of order method. Let's get going. Problem. Solve x square y double dash minus of x square plus 2x into y dash plus x plus 2 into y equal to x cube e power x. Solution. We are given a differential equation with variable equations, right? And also is of order 2. Given differential equation x square y double dash minus of x square plus 2x into y dash plus x plus 2 into y equal to x cube e power 2x. Now let's make the equation of y double dash to unity. We are going to write the given differential equation in standard form of second order linear differential equation. We'll get simply divide the whole equation on both sides of the equation with this x square. Then we'll get y double dash minus of x square plus 2x by x square into y dash plus x plus 2 by x square into y equal to x cube e power 2x by x square. Then we will get y double dash minus here in the numerator we are having two terms and in the denominator we are having one term. So we can split the fraction into two fractions. x square by x square plus 2x by x square into y dash plus this is double dash. Okay. Minus here also we are having two terms in the numerator and one term in the denominator. So we will split this into two terms x by x square plus 2 by x square into y equal to 2x gets cancelled. Okay, we will get x e power 2x. Here 1x gets cancelled. Here also 1x gets cancelled. Here x square gets cancelled. We will get y double dash minus of 1 plus 2 by x into y dash plus 1 by x plus 2 by x square into y equal to x e power 2x. Consider as equation number 1. Now compare 1 with the standard form of linear second order linear differential equation. y double dash plus p y dash plus q y equal to r. We have p equal to minus of 1 plus 2 by x and q equal to 1 by x plus 2 by x square and r equal to x e power 2x. Now we need to find the part of complementary function of equation 1 using inspection method. Now we are having p equal to minus 1 minus 2 by x and q equal to 1 by x plus 2 by x square. Okay. I'm going to try for p plus qx. I'll get 1 sorry p equals to minus 1 minus 2 by x plus q 1 by x plus 2 by x square into x. This becomes minus 1 minus 2 by x plus 1 by x into x is x by x plus 2 by x square into x is 2x by x square. When x gets cancelled here x gets cancelled we'll get minus 1 minus 2 by x plus 1 plus 2 by x. This is x okay. And here minus 1 plus 1 gets cancelled likewise minus 2 by x plus 2 by x gets cancelled will get 0 right. Therefore p plus qx equals to 0. We know that if p plus qx equals to 0 then y equal to x is the part of complementary function of 1. Right? Therefore, y equal to x is a part of CF of 1, where u equal to x. We are having u equal to x. Let's find derivative of u with respect to x. Differentiate on both sides with respect to x. We'll get du by dx. 
equal to derivative of x with respect to x is 1, right? Then u equal to x, derivative of u with respect to x is 1. Let y equal to u into v be the general solution of 1. See, already we are having u, but we need to find v, right? Then v is given by d square v by dx square plus p plus 2 by u into du by dx into dv by dx equal to r by u. Consider it as equation number 2. Now, substitute p, u, du by dx, r and u in equation 2, then we'll get capital V and from this capital V, we'll find small v. Then, d square v by dx square plus p minus of 1 plus 2 by x plus 2 by u into du by dx is 1 into dv by dx equal to r by u. We'll get d square v by dx square plus minus 1 minus 2 by x. 2 by x into 1 is 2 by x into dv by dx equal to x gets cancelled. We'll get e power 2x in the RHS. Here minus 2 by x and plus 2 by x gets cancelled. We'll get d square v by dx square minus dv by dx equal to e power 2x. Let dv by dx equal to capital V. Then d square v by dx square equal to dv by dx. Now the above equation becomes d capital V by dx minus capital V equal to e power 2x. Consider it as equation number 3. See, we have reduced the given differential equation to a uh, differential equation of order 1. Right? And this is linear in v and x. Which is a linear equation. In v and x. Now compare this linear equation with general form of linear equation. dv by dx plus p1 v equal to q1 where p1 equal to minus 1 and q1 equal to e power 2x. Now we need to find capital V, right? We'll find V using the general solution formula of the linear equation. So for this, we need to find integral p1 dx and then we'll find integrating factor which is given by e power integral p1 dx and later we'll go for the general solution formula v into integrating factor equal to integral q1 into integrating factor into differential dx plus constant, right? So let's begin with integral p1 dx, which is equal to integral minus 1 into dx, which is equal to minus integral dx, which is equal to minus x. Now let's find integrating factor equal to e power minus x. Now use the general solution formula of the linear equation. We'll get, let's write directly. Capital V into integrating factor equal e power minus x equal to integral q1 e power 2x into integrating factor e power minus x into dx plus c1. Okay. Then V into, we can write e power minus x as 1 by e power x equal to integral e power 2x into e power x is e power 2x minus x into dx plus c1. This equals to integral e power 2x minus x is x. We'll get integral e power x dx is e power x 
let us integral constant c1 then now we are having v into 1 by e power x equal to e power x plus c1 right now take this 1 by e power x to rhs then we'll get capital v equal to e power x plus c1 into e power x which is equals to e power x into e power x plus c1 e power x right e power x into e power x is e power 2x plus c1 e power x. See from this we will get e power 2x plus c1 into e power x. So we got v equal to e power 2x plus c1 into e power x since we know that capital V equal to dv by dx. Let's replace this capital V by dv by dx. Equal to e power 2x plus c1 e power x. Now separate the variables. Just for separating the variables, we'll take this differential dx to RHS. We'll get dv equal to e power 2x plus c1 e power x into dx. From this, we'll get dv equal to e power 2x dx plus c1 e power x dx. Now we can perform integration since the variables are separable. Integral dv equal to integral e power 2x dx plus c1 integral e power x dx. This becomes integral dv is v equal to integral e power 2x dx is e power 2x by 2 plus c1 into integral e power, d, e power x dx is e power x plus integral constant c2. So now we got v and already we have u which is equal to x. Let's now write the general solution. Therefore the general solution is given by y equal to u into v then y equal to u x into v e power 2x by 2 plus c1 e power x plus c2, right? Then y equal to x e power 2x by 2 plus c1 into x e power x plus c2 x. Okay, or we can write it as y equal to c1 x e power x plus c2 x plus x e power 2 x by Two. This completes the problem. So we have seen a problem from reduction of order in this video. Hope you'll understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.